Hello, viewers of this video, and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. <laughs> Today we've got a bit of logic with the new snapshot. We are in 13 W03A currently. Um, nothing new added, but we're using comparators and stuff now. And what we've got is a <laughs> is a bit of logic. And what this circuit does, we like to call it the subjective gate. Um, not S -gate. that the S gate for short. Not that we're really allowed to, you know, create new gates, <laughs> but uh, we like to call it the S gate. And what it'll do is it will uh, output from the two different outputs based on the two different input signal strength. And Wintech is going to explain. So we have uh, three different uh, sets of inputs on this side. Uh, let's call it side A. And then this one's going to be side B. It has a completely identical setup. And which, whichever side has stronger uh, signal strength, uh, wait, the greater signal strength, uh, outputs a signal. So, as so, you can see, because this side is on, this side is off. Obviously, on is greater than off, so it will output. <laughs> <laughs> I don't now, know. That's th this is this is on one, right? Sure. Now, if we put this on one as well. None of them gonna be on. <laughs> None of them gonna be. All right. Uh, there's gonna be no output. But if we put it on two, there's gonna be an output from the. I forgot which side this is, but that is doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> doesn't matter right now. But as you can uh, see, this uh, this second lever, which is closer to this than this third lever over here, so therefore this side is stronger has a stronger signal than that side and it will output to this side. Now if we do signal strength of greater than 2 on this side, it's going to flip back and there we go. This it's so beautiful. gate has two modes on and off and all you have to do is to switch is flick these two comparators. And, uh, and, and when you the flick those two Okay. The difference between them is that uh, when it's off, in an off state, when both signals are equal, there's going to be no output. But if you flick them in an on state, and you uh, have uh, equal strength of signals going into both sides, you get both outputs. And that's all it does. That's all it changes. So yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so I guess that renders this demonstration over here completely useless. Um, right, so if you didn't catch how to build this thing, um, just by watching... Wait, wait, we should explain how it works. We already did. Not exactly. Gotta be well, kidding me. we didn't explain how it functions and why it does that. We didn't the past three recordings. Yeah, we did. <laughs> did we? That I really spaced out. Okay, go on, Professor. Okay, so if this redstone uh, has good uh, strength than this one, it will um, it will not let the power through this comparator, and it will not let this piston extend, letting this signal once again pass through. So if it's, let's say it's 2 and 1, it's uh, because this is greater than this one, This uh, it will block off the comparator, not letting it block off uh, the signal to, the, to this side. And when this is 3, for example, it switches because this is greater than this one the same way. Uh, now, if they're equal, uh, it works this way because uh, when a comparator has uh, signals to uh, same signals uh, going into the side and the back, uh, the back is gonna win, letting the power through. And flicking the comparators will turn that off. 
So yeah. Wonderful. Beautiful. So now we go back to building it. <laughs> All right. So if you didn't ha catch how to build it already, I'm gonna start off with. <laughs> you can start off with two comparators facing in. Oh, I hope that's right. Okay, good. Uh, facing in opposite directions at a diagonal like that, and then you're going to fill in these gaps behind this comparator and behind this comparator uh, that will go into the sides and back, respectively. Um, fill in those gaps with redstone. From each of the redstone signals, you're going to place a repeater. And then in front of each uh, comparator, you're going to either place a block or you can place redstone. I would definitely recommend a block. Um, then you're just going to place a piston from that block, give it a block, and there you go. That's... Where are you? <laughs> anyway, that's how you build it. Uh, these are your two outputs here. And here are your two inputs. So yeah, uh, I hope that made sense. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been the Redstone Innovation channel. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!